Welcome to the quick crash course of uh, QGIS software. This is mostly towards the landscape architects, city planners and urban designers. I will show where to get the source materials for your maps, how to modify this source material in, uh, in how it looks visual and how to modify the data, how to make the maps in, in a layout and most importantly how to get the data into other programs and how to get data from other programs into QGIS. It's a rough tutorial but if you just follow along you will get the gist of it. So without further ado, let's begin. You need to go to the QGIS.org website, click on download now and get the long term release. It's the most stable one and you need to get the 64-bit version. You just download it and uh, install it. So, to just begin to explain a bit, there's a difference in types of uh, source material that you can get. You can get a vector data or a raster data. A raster data is made of pixels. It can also have data in it. For example, in height maps, each pixel represents a certain height. And in vector data, there are multiple uh, attributes possible for one point. So, let's say this ball can also have like a number and a name and uh, its size, uh, the, the, the surface area that it has, can all be connected to that one little dot. Uh, that vector data can be split up into, into points or into lines, which consists of two points at, at least, or from polygons, which you need three points for. Mostly like streets are, are lines, but they also can be polygons and uh, points can be like nodes uh, in, 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 in a street or trees or benches. And they will mostly be represented by points. Also uh, names like, uh, like annotation, as you can see here, that's mostly connected to, to a point. So going to the software, when you install it, you will get uh, you will get this view. You will create a new project. And first of all, I would like you to go to View, Toolbars, I mean Panels, I'm sorry, and then go to Processing Toolbox. This is quite handy if you quickly want to get uh, a certain tool. Uh, the tools are located up here, so you got uh, geoprocessing tools or raster tools, and here are the vector tools. And you can quickly search for them here. So if you raster and extraction, there's contour. So if you go to raster, raster and extraction, you will find contour. You can clip and all, all those kind of stuff. It, it, it will come by later. Uh, as you can see, I already put in some plugins. We will also talk about those. On the left side, you have uh, some servers that you can add or um, folders that you have, some favorites. Here, this is your layer panel. And up here is also uh, buttons for selection or, or to create new layers and stuff like that. So follow along with the tutorials and uh, well, most of all, I just have fun. <laughs> 